Zachary Risache. I just went and looked up the name pronunciation because I've been calling him Risache this whole time. I knew there was probably a different way to say it, but you know what? I don't speak French, all right? But yeah, Zachary Risache is a very interesting player that I feel like a lot of people haven't seen a ton of film on. And he's another one of these French dudes that's coming in the league and he's he's making some noise and he's, it's looking like he's going to go towards the top of the draft. This is from The Athletic, like really recently. I mean, they've got him going number one, which if Portland had the number one pick, I wouldn't put that past him at all. Like I've seen him anywhere from the number one pick, probably as low as four. I, I might have seen him like five in a mock draft once. Uh, if you're asking me, I think there's a lot of potential with uh, Risache, and we're going to watch some of the film today and kind of talk about some of the things that I see translating well, maybe some things that he can improve on. But I, I like the talent of him. I would say he's probably my second favorite player in the draft outside of Alex Saar. But I don't think this is a draft where there's like a consensus number one player. I mean, I can almost tell you that there's not. It's going to be one of those things where it's like, depending on the team that gets the first pick, um, they'll probably draft for fit. And presuming that it's Washington, like maybe Portland and like San Antonio, Detroit, like one of those four teams probably at the top. You never know with the lottery. But I would presume that Alex Sar uh, Risache goes uh, number one or two. But yeah, just a little bit of background on him. Uh, 18 years old. Uh, apparently he was born in Spain. Is that true? Am I am I just now learning this for the first time? That's kind of crazy, actually. I thought he was French. Oh, maybe he was just born in Spain. Oh, how how interesting. Okay, the the more you know. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's let let's dive into a little bit of film on the kid. Uh, the, what I want to like emphasize is that uh, I, I give him the Michael Porter Jr. comparison because he's such an elite shooter. He's shooting like forty two percent from three. Uh, it, it was like higher at one point. I want to say I think on like catch and shoot threes, it's like forty six, forty seven percent. Thus the Michael porter jr comparison he's a similar size except he's way more athletic in my opinion and i think he's got a greater potential for like defense and putting the ball on the floor hard to say if he's as smart of a player as michael porter jr is because he's a really intelligent player but anyway let's let's dive into some of the film we're going to watch a, like one or two like single game highlights then we're going to jump into just an overall highlight the, the reason i do that is because i like to like see kind of how he progresses through games and then let's see like the apex of what things get to because we might see him throw a dunk down or something in this game but then let's see what like the highest capabilities he has for things are right and then normally if i'm scouting someone i'd go into a lot more detail and watch like a full game to see how he's playing on a play-to-play -play basis but that doesn't have time for a youtube video so we're just going to do this this way quick reminder to like and subscribe because i just got into the youtube partner program thank you guys for that by the way but they still keep telling me i need to do no more calls to action okay thank you all righty let's get into this film there's never better quality stuff for whatever reason i don't know how that's possible in 2024 but that's just how it is he's coming around the the screen here going get coming off the dribble the first thing you see like he's long man like he he is long he's got a great wingspan which is helpful for shooting the other thing I want to note on this first play, and I won't pause it this much, but like uh, instantly went and looked for contact, which is kind of interesting for a younger guy. That's going to translate well to the NBA because we all know every bit of contact you get in the NBA usually results in things like free throws, and he's a good free throw shooter. So things like that help you get early buckets in the NBA. So let's see where else they're putting him in the corner. We should also note, um, by the way, that these foreign guys... Oh, let me see this jumper. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. What do we see here? Good catch point. Doesn't dip the ball too much. That's always awesome. And then just goes up. He jumps well together. That's that's awesome. He's not quite as upright as maybe I'd want him to be, but it's not bad either. So kind of interesting. But again, I was going to say young guys don't play as much in Euro ball. So if you go and look up like his per game stats and everything, it's not that crazy. But... Nice finish there and everything. Nothing all that interesting. But yeah, you'll you'll notice like his per game stats aren't that crazy. Young dudes just kind of get shafted uh, in foreign basketball. It just kind of is how it is. But you know what? They develop into better pros. So it's whatever. What do we got here? We're we gonna throw something down. Hey, okay, got up easily enough. He's he's low key like really moving like out here, isn't he? He's yeah, he was kind of booking it. He's got great like running form, which that, that's what I'm not here to like break down, but like. Man, like, there's some athlete in there. What are we doing here? Okay, getting out and running. He was the one that got that rebound. Going here. We're attacking. Awesome. Ooh, holds. Goes for the right. Probably not a shot you're going to get in the NBA too often, but young guy or whatever. I at least like that he attacked. What you want to do 
in those situations you want to get your feet really pointed towards the rim so that you can really like draw some contact and get more of a straight line towards the rim but you know what it's it's fine uh decent hang time on it am i really gonna sit here and watch every single free throw no no i'm not what do we got here just tipping it in okay great what a fun highlight to watch come on let me see some more uh re they're planting him in the corner again coming up for a little screen he's gonna come off see that time that time he got his his toes pointed towards the rim and he attacks see right there like that step like i'll try to highlight it with my mouse right here gets it like right there that little step and just instantly went towards the rim that's that's nice i love to see that uh that's a confidence thing too where are we going Ooh, big rebound way to read it goes back in just float it right over love to see it love to see it see a little diversity in the game right where are we going now and you can really see the size of him compared to other people that are guarding him here uh coming off early action getting right back into it this looks like college basketball a little bit right now good swing wow contested like great form uh they they close out to him pretty well but like his his feet jump together so well and i I love that. Like, when I say your feet jump together, just watch this here for a second like that. Catch, goes up, his feet come together. The reason you do that is because if you think of it like geometry, if you jump together, where else can you go but straight up, right? If you're, like, jumping out like this, you could, like, flail your arms this way. If you're, like, jumping to the side or you're twisting or something, you can go those directions. If you start with your feet are supposed to be at, like, a 45-degree angle towards your non-dominant hand, so just picture that. And when you jump together like that, you can go straight up. So I, I love already that we're seeing that out of him. Alrighty, next game. This is apparently a Euro Cup game. What do we got here? Cutting to the hoop, going up, finishing with the left, kept the ball high. We love to see that. Who are they playing, by the way? I was just curious if I knew somebody on the other team, but no, wrong, wrong team. Goes up, finishes, keeps him fended off. We love that. We love that. Not seeing it too too much of just like creation for himself right now. So that's something to pay mind to where we go in here comes by takes just rips the ball from him uh sometimes the foreign big men is where you see a little bit of the weakness uh because if they are good they're in the nba already Ooh, hold up real quick hold up so bringing the ball up the court here real smooth finds his way to the right screen okay let me see this ah, ah. finish falling away with the scoop i don't think y'all realize how tough of a shot that was <laughs> that's kind of crazy all right, uh, notice how he had his hands. I know I'm going back a lot, but sorry. It's just things I noticed. Look, he put his hands up like right there. Uh, let me see if I can get back onto it. So we're going, we're going, hands up. Like I'm already ready to shoot. Boom, attacks because they closed him out hard because he's a shooter. Wow, nice little pass out there actually. I didn't even like notice him do it at first. Weak close out by whoever the hell that was. Risache, are you going to bring it up yourself? You are. I want to see, oh, I want to see more of the dribbling. That's what I want to see more of. Ooh, no hesitation. Let's see that jumper again. Do the feet still come close together? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. He felt confident when that came out, too. I love it. Risache. Love it. Where are we going? Where are we going? We got to get a chase down now. Ooh. Okay. I'll just go dunk this myself, then. Hey. There we go, young fella. Love to see it. Yeah, like, some basic athleticism, man. It's, like, he looks, he looks more than coordinated and everything, and that makes me feel real good. All right, kind of a out of position play there. I couldn't tell if they were quite in a zone or not. But like, look at him like run like without the basketball. Like he really kind of takes off. Look at him just go. Like he, he's like really pumping those arms and then go up, jam. Hey, we love that. Like he doesn't have to be a primary ball handler. Then you throw him on like a Portland Trailblazers with like a Scoot Henderson. Imagine him running next to him. That's kind of tight. I'm not gonna lie. Good back door. Hey, takes the contact again. He has not shied away from contact. So something you see out of a lot of younger uh, American college... Oh, no. What I was going to say is what you see out of a lot of younger college players is they're all trying to avoid contact and trying to jelly and roll everything in. And that's a cool skill in itself. But like uh, when when you can just like take contact and play through that, that's, that's probably the optimal way you want to try and play when it comes to the NBA. Like obviously it depends on size and everything, but given the size and skill that he has, like that's, that's awesome that he's not shying away from anything. When we go in here, he's already looking for the ball. Did you see his hands up again? Let me see that again. Look, hands are already up. He's like, yeah, I'm ready to shoot. Give me this fucking basketball. Yeah. Bang. What's the game situation? Where are we at? How many points do how many points do they have? 
There we go. Okay, so that's why. They're trying to get some shots up, like, right now. That's why he was so ready. But look at that form. That is beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Windows 11, get out of here. All right, this video is from three weeks ago because they're in, like, the playoffs now or something. So these are apparently his best plays from the regular season. Like I said, I want to go now and see, like, what does the best of Risache look like? We're going. Interesting. That was kind of an odd play. That, that looked like he didn't quite know what he wanted to do. I'm a little concerned that that was the first play that we saw. Good steal. Where are we going? Hey. Okay, yeah. No, he, he really likes to run without the basketball. Like, he legit, like, takes off. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, he jumped off the opposite foot is right. Coming off a screen here. We haven't seen many, like, moving shots yet. But, like, he attacks well here. He again gets his feet towards the rim. He can go off either foot for the jump which is kind of cool. Uh, we've seen both so far, but yeah, he jumps off his right there for the right-handed finish, and again, the scoop shot. Like, that's really difficult. Ooh, give me the block there. Where are we going? Where are we going now? He's trailing. Feed him. That's a shot. Oh, my God. Ooh. That's, that's, I'm not gonna lie, that's a move that I like to use a lot because I'm not as quick as other people, so uh, if he's not either, look at this, the misdirection. Hey, <laughs> you get him with that initial jab and then you go. Again, the scoop kind of, he goes off either leg. It doesn't matter. That's really smooth. We love that. Ooh, I didn't even see the pump. Ooh, okay, cerebral player. Oh, good catch and shoot with a bad pass. Went and got the basketball, moved his feet, jumped right into it. He's going to be an elite shooter, man. He's going to be an elite shooter in the NBA. I have no question about that at all. With more spacing, yeah, no, it's it's over for everyone else. This boy's going to be spraying. Uh, as long as he's got decent enough teammates around him. Give me those. Why would you even try, dumbass? Passing the ball now. Oh, where we going? Where we going? Took the contact. He's. We've seen that shot before. That's interesting. Where are we going now? Let me see. Let me see. There we go. I want to see some full court stuff. Kind of looks like Denny Advia's way of dribbling. It's a little bit high. So, kind of interesting here. Ooh, quick trigger. Let me see it again. Let me see it again. Quick trigger. Catch, shoot. He dropped that one a little bit lower, but still. Beautiful form towards the top every time. Good cut. Finish over. Let's go. I like it. Ooh, a little bit of attitude as well. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, let's see something else now, y'all. We're going to flip it to Is he going to punch that? Oh, he tried to punch it. He didn't really take off that much there, which is kind of interesting. I feel like I've seen more athleticism out of him before, so I kind of want to see that. Uh, solid pass. That's that's nice. Reading the defense. That's awesome. The NBA game is going to be a lot faster than this, so that's kind of whatever. But again, he's always leaking, man. Uh, he's always leaking. <laughs> Look at 61. Whoever that was just threw that pass. That was awesome. But, ooh, another steal. Where are we going? Where are we going? Is it out of behind the back pass? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that one was coming. That's what I would have done right there. That's a behind the back pass situation for sure. Give me those. <laughs> I love it. Where are we going? Where are we going? Ooh. See, there's the hang time that I've seen before. Very interesting. Going to go get the rebound here. Let's take off. Yeah, I want to see you take off. I want to see this. That's what I want to see. Going coast to coast. The dribble's a little bit high, but, hey, kind of interesting. He, like, doesn't quite take off every time. Uh, kind of blows a tire every once in a while. See, like, there's something with his legs that he hasn't quite figured out yet. And he's young, so, like, that'll happen. But it's interesting. Oh, we've seen this play before. Uh, he waited. He probably could have hit the pocket pass there, but the big actually anticipated it late anyway. Good back door. Awesome. Yeah, you, like, see the bounce out of him sometimes, and other times you don't. Ooh, interesting pass decision there. That should have been to the big, but good pass, I guess, nonetheless. There we go. He finds him anyway later. <laughs> We've seen a lot of these highlights already, so these aren't all that interesting or whatever. We've seen these. Are there any? Is there anything else? No, not really. Okay, so, all right, pa pause the video, pause the video. So, Zachary Risache, interesting, interesting basketball player, right? Um, here's Here's what I'm seeing. Elite shooting form. He's going to be a great shooter when he gets into the NBA, like, right away. I'm not concerned about that whatsoever. I think the ball handling skills are enough there. It looks like he's got two or three counters to get himself to the rim, which is nice. Uh, the athleticism, like, it's, like, there, but it's not, like, quite there. And that could be he's still growing into his body. Like, I've been in those spots where, like, you're, you're bouncy some days. And sometimes when you get going in, like, a fast break, you just don't take off. And that's just what happens. But I'm very interested in this player. Like, I, I think he just screams, like, very solid NBA 
NBA player that can come in and be a starter probably year one and be a contributor. Throw him on the Spurs. I think it makes a lot of sense. Throw him on like a Trailblazers that desperately needs some shooting. He could be the great connecting piece. Play the four in Detroit around Asar, Ivy, Cunningham, and Duran. Right? They need a they need a connecting point like that. Um, the Wizards like they kind of already have a guy like this and obvious. So they're probably looking more at a guy like Sar. But no, I think this guy fits like what teams are looking for. These athletic wings that can shoot and he's got some defensive prowess so i like him man i like him a lot i wouldn't take him any lower than two that's 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 at least where i see him compared to the rest of the competition in this what is a weaker draft class uh, it should be noted but i like him a lot but hey you guys let me know what you think who would you take uh with like the first or second pick right now what players do you like that aren't getting talked about enough let me know and maybe i'll talk about them but until then we'll see y'all later